Yeah, according to an email sent to the school, two university contract employees were driving the golf cart. Officials say they don't think the suspects are part of the university community and there's no ongoing threat. I saw that email and I was very shocked, but I wasn't surprised though. Near this intersection Thursday afternoon, Texas state officials say two contract employees were in a golf cart on Woods Street going towards Comanche Street. They say a truck driver pulled up next to them because they were upset the golf cart was moving too slowly in front of the truck. The drivers said something to each other and two passengers in the truck showed their guns and the truck took off, leaving campus driving south on Comanche Street. Students share their reactions. It's just another day at Texas State. Like, it's a bad thing that happened, but I'm not surprised that it did happen. People really don't know how to drive here. They're quick about bringing out the guns. So it's, it's just another day. It is a little bit like same old, same old, but I think I do appreciate the communication. It makes me uneasy because I live like just over here and it's like, I've not heard about that and that's just kind of scary to know that somebody pulled out a gun because they got mad. Police say the truck is gray with four doors. It's not clear what the make and model is. They say the driver is described as a heavy set woman with brown hair and light colored clothes. The person in the front seat was wearing black clothes and there was a third person in the back seat. That email sets an alarm bell for campus leaders and what they should do next and have a, a plan set in place on what they should be doing for, for years to come. University leaders are reminding the community no action by a crime survivor makes them responsible for their victimization. They also encourage people to report any suspicious activity immediately, stay alert and be aware of your surroundings, and use the Bobcat Guardian app to quickly get to safety resources and safe ride options. I think more patrolling in our area would be much safer. We don't have enough surveillance cameras here. And if you know anything about this case, call University Police. Live in San Marcos, Angela Shen, Fox 7 Austin News.